The next part of the build looks like I'll be installing the electron electronics. Next part of the um, build process, um, I'll be installing the, well, it looks like the um, electronics um, receiver and um, ESC. Um, and then the front bump, front and rear bumpers. And wheels and tires, body posts, uh, rock sliders. Um, yep, yeah, almost done with this build. So hang in there, folks. Um, so the first part of the, this build, I'll be needing um, bag G, which is right here. Um, looks like the double-sided tape. Uh, 3, 3M and then you have your um, gaskets for the waterproof receiver or silicone gaskets um, you know ho hopefully try to prevent um, water from coming into the receiver box but um, if you submerge your um, SCX-102 uh, it's most likely water will get in your receiver box and then uh, we have our uh, pin screws, uh, countersunk screws uh, so that's basically for this bag so onward with the build I'll be needing um, plastic part 3 AX31385 part number 3 which is basically here or this uh, looks like the cover of the receiver box waterproof supposedly silicone gasket And then we'll be needing four M3 by 18 millimeter counter sunk screws. So that's three and four. We'll also be needing our receiver. Futaba Fast R614FS. And then last but not least, the brains of this um, Axel SX102 build is the Tekken FXR Pro uh, ESC for brush motors. Um, it's able to handle up to 3S lipos. Now we can finally get a build on. the build um, looks like I'll be installing the front and rear bumpers and the tow hitch and it's like the reverse lights um, on the rear bumper and looks like fog lights in the front bumper uh, so I'll be needing uh, two uh, M4 2.5 by 13 millimeter uh, pin screws one and two and then for the rear bumper I'll be needing three um, M4 2.5 five by 13 millimeter uh, pin screws. So two and three. 
for the front bumper, we can find that on part plastic part three uh, AX three one three uh, three nine two, which is this right here. Um, so we can take that part out. Um, it's probably number one. Yes, one for the bumper. And then um, for the fog lights, uh, you can find it on plastic part three, uh, AX31390, um, number four. So four of them, two for the front and two for the rear. So I'll go ahead and uh, remove those. One thing I like, I would like to point out um, on this front bumper, you can install a winch on this bumper. So I'm not too sure um, if you can install any type of winch. Um, basically, it would have to match these holes, um, or the winch would have to match up these holes um, to be able to use it on this bumper. Um, yeah, unless you want to drill your own holes, <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Actually stepping up their game and for the rear bumper um, you can find that on in parts tree um, AX 21393 This is right here rear bumper So let's go ahead and remove that so Rear bumper here and then the tow hitch Um, rear bumper is uh, number one on this plastic part three and the tow hitch is number three right there so we can remove that keep in mind the tow hitch is not aluminum or stainless steel um, it's plastic <laughs> so, so we're all set and ready to uh, install the front and rear bumpers and the tow hitch. Of the build, um, we'll be installing the body posts and the rock sliders. Um, so, in this uh, build process, we'll need uh, bag H and plastic bag 4, which I have right here. So, um, this is plastic bag 4, and then we have bag H um, right in this bag. Uh, basically, our screws. And uh, pin screws, corner uh, button head screws, um, yeah, and then it's like we also have shake it all around, and you do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. So it looks like bag H and bag I is also in here. Um, 
so pretty cool. But enough with the bags. Um, let's get to um, this build. Here I have is our bag H. Um, it's like all kind of screws, uh, like our wheel uh, nylon, wheel nuts, <laughs> uh, body pins, uh, body clips. I'm sorry, pins and body clips, and then it looks like we have some O rings, orange, and a sticker. Not too sure what is that. But enough with the chit chat. Let's get a build on. So you can find your uh, pins in the bag that has the wheel lock nuts. Pretty cool. So I'll go get those pins out. We'll be needing uh, M4 by 2.5 by 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter uh, pin screws, um, four of them. And plastic part three, uh, AX31391. Uh, we'll be needing the front body post, which is number three, which is right here. And then we'll be needing the rear posts. Uh, which is part number four, which is this one right here. So I'll get everything set up and let's go put this body post on the frame. Next step, I'll be installing the rock sliders. Um, you can find the rock sliders in plastic bag four. All right, so basically here's the rock sliders. Um, we also have our front grill, side view mirrors, our rear view mirrors, side view mirrors, and then our roof rack. Yeah, that's basically it. So I'll go get the rock sliders out of this bag and you can proceed with the build. You can find the rock sliders in plastic part three AX31389, uh, which is right here, upside down. So then they're number nine and 10. So we wanna keep in mind which is nine and 10. So this is nine and this is 10. So nine will be, looks like it will be going on the left side of the chassis or driver's side. And here we have is our trusty razor. Remember folks, when handling sharp objects or razors, please be careful and do not injure yourself or cut yourself. And for those who are under the age of 18, please get your parents' permission. Now let's go get these rock sliders out of this tree. We'll be needing we'll be needing four M3 by 10 millimeter uh, flathead screws. One, two, three, four. Now let's get a build on. 